Hello, this is Kelly from Rope Pursuit, and today we are talking about using mandalas in our boho journal. So uh, it seems like this would be an obvious choice, and I was I had already started my journal, and I thought I actually have some mandala books, uh, so I am. Uh, going ahead and I'll just kind of show you what I've got here. So I guess I'll have to do some cutting up to remove these uh, from the book. And there are some little ones too, so that's cool. I will definitely use those as well. Looks like I already pulled a few out of here. And yeah, so we've got uh, some lovely mandalas from this little book. So if you, you know, can find any mandala books out there, uh, that might be helpful. But then also there are a lot of mandalas in coloring books. So um, I believe this one, yeah, there we go, had some mandalas. So we're going to work on this one today. And you could just put these in a pocket and have it be sort of like a gift of a, a coloring page. Uh, that, um, that, that whoever purchases the book or uses the book can color the mandala themselves. So that's an option, but we are going to, oh, look at how detailed this one is. But we are going to do a little experiment today and we'll see how it turns out with uh with these i did order these online many years ago and i had a lot of fun with them and they're basically black and white so these are another one that could be neat uh just i did get these on amazon but these are a neat one to just place inside i haven't had a lot of luck uh with these in uh, what they're designed for which is to color them and put them in the window window they they faded so quickly so um but another option is because these are see-through is to take some really um colorful fabulous paper um i don't know if i have exactly what i was looking for but um and then you know it can kind of show through so obviously something more colorful than that let me see if i can find something <laughs> I must have something. I guess I will just have to decide here. Yeah, there. Let me try this. Um, so, you know, maybe, maybe. So you can kind of experiment and, and see um, what you can come up with for just simply placing something under the stained glass. Uh, really easy to do and you can trim off the ends so I might just try that one today if I find some paper that I think would go really well with that okay so that's one option but we've got these coloring pages so let's see here I'm going to get out my my inks so I've got all these ink pads and I'm going to pull out my little bin of of colors here uh, this little one has got the tip and it it is a little bit better for uh, getting coloring in a little bit more ooh, detailed and so you can get the edges a little better uh, today I'm going to use these because I just have uh, you know there's a lot of colors available in them so we'll try that we'll try it Okay, so now let's pick some colors. I've kind of got this. And also, I suppose you could do like a, a rainbow effect. Mm, that might be good. Let me try that first. Okay, so I need a red, a red one. And I need it to be like pointy, like a tip on it. Okay, let's see what we have here. I do have these little eggs, and I've not tried them yet, but we'll... Give them a whirl and we'll see how they go. Okay, so I'm gonna try some reds. Red, red, red. This is kind of an orangey red. And I'm just simply going 
not specifically, I'm just going really uh, randomly around the edge. So, super random. Not random, but. We're not trying to stay in the lines or anything. We're just creating a, an orangey red ring around the outside. Now this is really orange. So that's all right. Okay, so now I'm gonna try yellow as my next one. And whenever I do these, I always give yellow a little bigger of a ring because otherwise it seems to just get washed away and blended in if I don't do that. Right. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. I think I know I'm doing this all wrong, but <laughs> we'll do this middle green, I think. We'll do a little green ring around. I kind of picked these colors on purpose because I knew. Oh, if that green doesn't work, then I can try the one right next to it. And then I don't have to be digging around so much. Okay. Um, I do have these makeup brushes, and they really work well for just kind of blending the color. They just are so delicate, and I, I don't use them for, for, like, thick distressing. I wouldn't use them to do this, but... Oh my goodness, it really works well with, with uh, these. So, okay, blue. I guess I'll actually use the blue egg for the blue. There we go. It's quite nice. And I mean, ooh, dropped it. Uh, you wouldn't have to use a, rain a rainbow. You could just pick any color, uh, you know. I mean, yeah, any color. And uh, go around with it. I'm gonna, no. Which purple? I'm gonna use the darker purple. There we go. Yeah, so I mean, you could do red, blue, and green. You could do red, orange, and yellow. And that was really quick. So now I can cut around this. And actually, I'm gonna do a red, red. I'm gonna use this pink, actually. I'll do a pink, pink. <laughs> Not a red, red. Uh, what, where, here we go. And I'm just gonna go and get that a little bit. Yeah, though these work really well for doing the lines, I have to say. A lot better than this one. <laughs> so. so make a note of it because yeah, that's a big difference in in the ease of blending and so forth. So and keeping our lines straight, so. There we go. Yeah. And then I would just simply see how big it is for my page. I have a blank page that I haven't used yet, but it might be fun to, I don't know, fold it in half. And you could do a pocket. You could do, not on this page, but I mean, so you'd have it on both sides 
um, you could do it obviously in the center and you could do tiny tucks on each corner. That would be kind of fun. Tiny tucks in each little spot. So you do a glue like this cross. And I would also put some colored background behind it, not just leave this sheet, but that's neither here nor there. So that is a really super easy way to do that. So, and I've been getting uh, coloring books that were used and really they were used because like this one I got and it was like a buck, but it did have um, the first few pages were colored. So I didn't do any of those. I will probably cut the horse out for the, or just uh, maybe ink around the horse uh, for the boho journal. That'll actually look really good. And somebody else colored it for me. So there you go. <laughs> that was pretty convenient actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and it's that sort of hand drawn uh, feeling. So that, that helps too, so. Yeah, and I'm just gonna use this makeup brush. And the makeup brushes are on Amazon too, and they are super cheap, so that was a really good deal. So yeah, all right, well, uh, yeah, so that's, that's some ideas for using mandalas in your boho journal, and uh, hopefully on my next video, I'll be able to give you a little update on what I ended up doing with this in my journal, or might just save it uh, for you know a few more pages into the book we'll see but uh all right well as always uh thanks for coming along and i'll talk to you later